Uh, this is a maze. Uh, it's an event that we're going to put on every six months at uh, Suites at Market Square. And it'll be a visual adventure, a display and visual artistic adventure for people. This one is called A Trip to Oz, uh, A-H-H-S. We're hoping to uh, inspire and get some drop mouths out of this. Um, we started with by sculptress uh, Kathleen Parker, who's done things for me in the past, and I challenged her to make two witches. This one is completely out of Tootsie Rolls and black licorice hair. And uh, since the room is called I Would Kill for Shoes, uh, we uh, got this red uh, tissue paper, sort of what would come out of shoe boxes, and that's what we made her dress out of. This witch's room is called I Live My Life in a Bubble, and she is completely made of bubble gum and strawberry uh, licorice. That's not good. Eat. Oh, it's good. Okay, this wall I call Hot Dog. I went to uh, Lowe's and checked out uh, Valspar colors and chose a uh, color for each one of my favorite dogs in a book called Glamour Dogs. And uh, this is uh, to choose the color for your favorite, uh, it's called Canine Inspired Colors for Every Dorothy and Her Toto. You know, I, I love this witch. She was my favorite. Um, she was so much about style, just everything about her. And this was the iconic scene, you know, Margaret Hamilton dying, death by melting. So uh, this reminds me that when we get all freaked out about solving our problems and we make ourselves miserable and everyone else around us, that sometimes the solution is as simple as a pail of water. So this is made out of, I think I counted 400 uh, dark uh, paint chips and a couple green for the hands and face. I have to say that my mom helped me with this room. She'll like that. Um, this is where I get all my creativity, I'm sure. Uh, this is the Poppy's room. It's called the Poppy Field Alternative. Uh, Dorothy gets to the Poppy Field and she decides she's not going onto the Emerald City. She creates a beautiful garden with her three buddies and uh, she has this view of the Emerald City, which we made out of thousands of labels of NyQuil, which we thought was kind of funny, and the Surrender Dorothy Sky. And because I'm into ecological fibers, we planted the hills with uh, hemp plants. Uh, Dorothy apparently stayed and uh, uh, made ecological fibers for the big city. And the road is made out of uh, sleeves for coffee cups. This is Starbucks and this is a generic one we found. Uh, I sort of thought that when Dorothy got here, she uh, found a comfortable place to sit and took off those the horrible shoes that hurt her feet and were leaving sparkles everywhere and that's why the witch kept finding her, I think. So she took off her shoes and planted uh, hens and chicks and herbs and little flowers and shoes and uh, so I got friends to give me all the shoes that they didn't want and did the same thing. Uh, this room is called Making Do Well. It, it's uh, in reference to what it was like living during the depression years when you had to use what you had and we're showing people that sometimes you don't need to go any further than your own trash to make something decorative and chic. I'm standing in our black and white room. Uh, this is me for the last couple of weeks. I was hoping I could get this project done in time. Uh, I love this room, it's my melt room. This is all about the uh, civil rights movement, uh, the uh, segregation era, uh, riots, uh, black and white, Dorothy's black and white world. Uh, this is a hundred pictures of hands doing different um, hand gestures, uh, international hand gestures in black and white. And this violent storm that took Dorothy out of her black and white world and transported it, her into a world of color is what you see when you look across the hall. So when you turn from the black and white room and you see the color, we have a paint chip rug made of thousands of paint chips on Home Depot uh, drop cloths. We have a post-it nation, 10,000 post-it notes in color showing the United States. And then our sort of tongue-in-cheek gesture to color in America as opposed to black and white is that we have the White House made out of crayons. This uh, work of art is called Put a Little Color in Your White House. And across uh, from it, we have the Washington Monument in uh, crayons and paint chips as well. Okay, this room is called Plan Your Escape. And it's about a financial, a modern financial wizard that's discovered behind his curtain to be a fraud and he needs to get out quick. And we decided that his escape pod was a chair made out of vintage bank bags. This room is called the Toast of Wonder, and it's about uh, the seven wonders of the world, all done in Wonder Bread toast. And this was done uh, by local High Point high school students.